So I just had somebody give me shit about selling super aminos on this channel, even though I use the super aminos and I use the protein powders that I promote and I basically only share stuff that I believe in, but apparently that means that I'm somehow corrupt or something's wrong with me. So I decided in order to make a living and be able to sustain giving this free information to you guys because this camera that I'm filming on is not free, I've decided to start selling rocks because maybe if you guys start buying rocks, I mean, these rocks, I could sell a lot of them. I mean, unlimited supply and uh, great for exercising, great for working at home. You guys need home gyms. Hey, you know what? Just, just send $59.95 to naturalglandbodybuilding.com and I'll send you a rock. Now through applying my tips on this channel, you too will be able to lift rocks. Oh, hey, rocks like that, see? See, I think I'm gonna go to lift something heavier. I think I can lift something heavier. Getting too strong for this. Train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about bicep curls. A little bit about bicep curls. I can't say bicep curls for some reason. First thing I want to say is that I had to go through a lot of trouble in order to get this information for you. Like you guys have no idea what kind of sacrifices I make in order to get this information to share it with you for free. Yeah, Jason Galante here just doing some workout stuff. Um. Hey. Blah. Hey, buddy. Back. Fight. Back. 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 Bicep curls are not just bicep curls because depending on where your elbow is and depending on which direction the tension's coming from will depend on how you feel it. And I started messing around with this particular exercise because of my own specific sort of situation, such as the dislocating shoulder and the bicep tear from a long time ago. I noticed that sometimes I'm having an issue with getting the long head of the bicep, except for of course, during incline curls, which is great. But I find that in order to get a contraction type of exercise, I notice that if the arms are in front of me, such as in a preacher curl type situation with cables, I'm not necessarily getting the best possible feeling from that. So anyway, I was just playing around in front of the rack one day, and I noticed that when I bring the elbows above my head and curl the bar behind my head, I had an awesome pump and a good squeeze from that. So I found that this is a great way to hit that squeezing aspect of bicep curls because one part of the bicep actually helps elevate the arm and because of this when the elbow is above your head your bicep is capable of being in a deeper contraction so this is a great way for you to get an extra contraction during bicep curls and possibly hit that weak link in your bicep that you haven't been able to hit until now so if you want to get pumpy and lumpy try this exercise out i'm going to show some footage right here right now of it so you can enjoy my video mountain
So thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturallandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. Mountain.